My name's Judith Harrison. I'm a Marawali person and this is where I come from. This is my country. And here is a birth certificate of one of my aunties who was born here on country. And that was... She wow, 1904. Marawali tribe were kind of known as the rain dancers. Some of the neighbouring tribes would actually summon them to go to tribal areas and dance for them to bring rain. So the pull and pull and the bird feathers were um, in our ceremonial headdress used in our major robberies. So it's it's kind of re been reborn and I find there's a symbiotic relationship now to be involved with bush heritage to protect the bird and protect our culture. It's been a, a really beneficial exercise. Uh, we found some flints, uh, some hammer stones, uh, quite a few small uh, heads that we used as spearheads, uh, but the most important find or special find really was a piece of petrified wood which we estimate is about 95 to 98 million years old and that was in the shape of an axe head. So do you think that they would have uh, carried that around with yeah, from what I understand, this is the most valuable tool. They'd just keep a hold of and carry that because, you know, you've got your hammer there and you can just go all around and hammer in different spots. That's why it's good that, you know, Bush Heritage have got us out here doing this so we can find all this so they're protected forever. <laughs>